Templates can simplify user requests by filling some fields, hiding some others, and maybe also forcing information to be added to your tickets. In this example, we are going to create a template for a category in GLPI and a category of incident. In drop downs, we are typing ITIL categories and navigating into software malfunctioning, which is a category that we have created before and we are inserting now a new template for it. On the field template for an incident, we are clicking on the plus sign right at it. Right here, we are creating a name for this template, which is going to be software malfunctioning. No, you don't need to create a template for every category, but if you want to have different templates for different categories, you need to have one template for each category. I'm adding it, clicking on software malfunctioning, or we can navigate into assistance tickets and clicking on the top where it says templates, managing templates. In software malfunctioning, which is the template that we have just created, we can have mandatory fields, predefined fields, hidden fields, and here we can preview the standard interface and the simplified interface, as well as where we can see all the categories related to this template. So in this case, we are making some mandatory fields like title, description. We are going to predefine some fields to say, look, I need to know the name. So name of the software. And I'm hiding some fields like the watcher. and watcher group. So in this standard interface, I'll see that I already have a description and this red icon that says that it is mandatory and also the title is mandatory. I could for sure change some of these fields like, let's say predefined fields has the impact very high. So in the standard interface, now I can see that the impact is very high and the priority has changed to high since the urgency is medium and the impact is very high. This is for another video. But in the simplified interface, I can see that I don't have the watchers anymore. And let's say I would like to hide the associated elements. So I could come here to hidden fields and associated elements added and again i won't see them anymore here i have a more polished form for this incident template the last but not least action is going to be add this template to a category so in this software malfunctioning i'll add the template for incident to be software malfunctioning. If none of this template is chosen, the default one is going to be inserted. Another important thing that we can define in a template is task templates or follow-up templates. So in predefined fields, if we have already created a task template, we can relate this template to these tickets. So task, I'll use the check software template and add it to my template of a ticket. So right now, when I open a ticket, it doesn't matter if it's by an end user or by a super admin. I'll create it as an incident, software malfunctioning. I'm going to have some fields predefined. There they are and install GLPI, name of the software, GLPI. I'm going to submit this to support. If I click here on install GLPI, I can see that this ticket 
is with the priority as high, since I have urgency and impact that are different, I have a task already created, and then the tag group can work on this ticket. Templates are especially useful for every kind of ITIL object for assistance, like changes, problems, requests, and incidents.